Much of what is shaping the college sports landscape today focuses on NIL, but what is NIL? Hey, it's Dan Zimmerman. Welcome back to the channel where we'll dive into what NIL is all about and explore some real life examples of NIL deals that have taken place. Stay tuned to learn how you can enhance your NIL expertise with Clean Connect's NIL certification course. NIL simply stands for Name, Image, and Likeness. NIL represents a groundbreaking policy approved by the NCAA Division I Board of Directors on June 30th, 2021, that allowed college athletes nationwide, regardless of gender, sport, or level, to profit from their own name, image, and likeness. The precursor to NIL was in 2014 when former UCLA basketball player Ed O'Bannon took a stand against the NCAA. The Ed O'Bannon vs. NCAA case was a landmark legal battle that challenged the NCAA's use of college athletes' names, images, and likenesses without compensation, specifically through the EA Sports NCAA football video game, in which athletes' names and images were used without compensation to the athletes. Ed O'Bannon argued that the NCAA violated antitrust laws by prohibiting athletes from profiting from their own NIL. The case resulted in a settlement that allowed for limited compensation to college athletes for the use of their NIL. In 2019, Governor Gavin Newsom of California passed a law allowing college athletes to be compensated for their name, image, and likeness. California became the first state to allow this. The NCAA saw this move as harmful to the institution of college sports. And by late 2019, more than 20 states were passing legislation to allow NIL. On June 12, 2020, Florida passed a law granting NIL rights to college athletes with an effective date of July 1, 2021, the earliest of any state law at this point. Finally, on June 30, 2021, the NCAA changed its policy to allow NIL after a Supreme Court ruling nine days prior stated that the NCAA couldn't limit education-related benefits to athletes. These changes allowed athletes to earn money through endorsement deals, sponsorships, autographs, and other promotional opportunities. An example of an athlete who took advantage of NIL opportunities is Bryce Young, a former quarterback at the University of Alabama and the 2023 number one overall pick in the NFL Draft. Young is considered one of the highest earners in NIL of all time as of 2023. One of Bryce Young's most notable deals was with Dr. Pepper and their Fansville ad campaign. Young appeared in multiple commercials on national television for Dr. Pepper and promoted their brand on social media as well. According to On3, Young's NIL annual valuation was over $3 million, a substantial amount for a college athlete to earn from their NIL. NIL deals have evolved since 2021. Initially, most NIL deals were of athletes promoting brands on their social media accounts. As time passed and people became more familiar with NIL, the types of ways athletes could earn NIL compensation evolved. For example, athletes started hosting summer camps and making appearances at events. Shortly after July 1, 2021, NIL collectives started popping up at schools. NIL collectives are organizations often owned and founded by prominent alumni and influential supporters. School-specific collectives pool funds from a wide swath of donors to help create NIL opportunities for student athletes through an array of activities. These activities can include, but are not limited to, autograph signings and named merchandise. Almost every Power 5 school has a collective as of 2023, and some collectives are able to facilitate large NIL deals for athletes. In 2022, at the University of Tennessee, the Volunteer Club Collective reportedly distributed more than $4 million to 130 Tennessee athletes. On top of the major amounts of money that some athletes can make from collectives, there have been some controversy about collectives. Critics of collectives believe that collectives are influencing athletes to commit to transfer to particular schools because of NIL promises, which is against the original purpose of what NIL was supposed to be. As of today, the number of school-specific collectives has grown to 200 nationwide. 
college athletes now have the ability to shape their own futures and benefit from their hard work, dedication, and creativity with their partnerships and brand beyond their sport performance. Athletes have numerous ways to earn money from NIL. According to Opendoors, 39% of NIL revenue comes from the social media promotions, 23% comes from appearances, 5% comes from the shoutouts, 4% comes from autographs, and 29% comes from other ancillary opportunities. Even further, NIL at the high school level is becoming increasingly prevalent. In August 2021, California became the first state to allow high school NIL. California high school athletes like Bronny James signed lucrative deals with Nike, Beats, and more, and are continuing their NIL prospects into college. As of August 2023, more than 30 states allow NIL deals in high school, and many more state governments and high school athletic associations are exploring changing their bylaws to allow NIL. Despite all of the new opportunities NIL has created, in June 2023, NCAA President Charlie Baker issued some concerns surrounding the lack of framework within federal NIL legislation. He criticized the NCAA for making a big mistake and not implementing clear guidelines for athletes to monetize their own names, images, and likenesses. Baker argued that without proper guidelines, some student athletes may receive lucrative deals, while others might struggle to secure fair compensation for their NIL rights. Additionally, he said that the lack of regulation might also open doors for potential exploitation of student athletes, as they may face challenges in negotiating deals with companies or protecting their interests. Furthermore, the absence of a standardized approach may create compliance issues and could potentially lead to violations of amateurism rules, putting the eligibility of student athletes at risk. The NIL landscape is continuing to evolve daily, especially as state laws change to become more friendly for athletes and schools in how they can make money from their NIL. Stay up to speed on the key happenings of NIL with Clean Connect's NIL Certification Course. The NIL Certification Course is a comprehensive program designed to educate individuals on all aspects of NIL. Whether you're an athlete, a coach, an agent, or simply curious about this transformative policy, the NIL Certification Course will provide you with key data points, quotes, and inspiration for how the landscape will evolve. With a course filled with over 50 modules and six quizzes, you'll learn everything you need to know to become an expert on NIL and how to navigate the ever-evolving NIL landscape. So whether you're an aspiring sports agent, an athlete looking to make the most of your NIL opportunities as a college athlete, or someone who wants to stay informed about the changing dynamics of college sports, Clean Connect's NIL certification course is the perfect way to become an expert. Illustrate to Educate viewers can get 20% off the full NIL certification course at checkout by using the promo code Illustrate to Educate at nailcertifications.cleanconnect.com or by clicking on the direct link in the description of the video. Did you enjoy this video about NIL? Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to Illustrate to Educate to support more simple and objective videos on topics that matter. And of course, don't forget to check out Clean Connects. NIL certification course by clicking on the link in the description below.